You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Young and the Restless fans. It's Soap Dirt on YouTube. We want to talk about Connor Newman spiraling out over his baby sister's death on YNR. We feel like there is more messy fallout coming from the loss of Sally Spectra and Adam Newman's baby. And I think that Adam grieving and then Connor coming into that grief and having some grief of his own is going to make for an explosive family dynamic, not just for Adam and Connor, but for Billy, Chelsea, Johnny, and more. If you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our YNR updates and spoilers and news. And now we're going to dig into this thing with Connor. So you might remember that Connor Newman was not happy about hearing that Adam and Sally are, were going to have a kid, that they're going to have a little girl, and he's going to get another sibling. It's just too much change for Connor right now. I mean, fresh off finding out his mom was trying to kill herself, then he's got a new brother in Johnny Abbott, and he finds out that's a long festering secret that has been kept from him, and then he's got a new quasi dad in his life in Billy Abbott and he does like Billy but it's all just a lot of change and then his dad having a baby with someone else it just feels like it was too much for Connor he was just exploding in teen angst and by the way just if anybody knows this in the comments because I don't remember it doesn't seem to me that Connor knows this but maybe I'm just having an episode gap does Connor know that Christian Newman is also his brother or does he just think that's a cousin is, is there another sibling realization crisis that Connor has coming to him or does he know and he's just accepted that? I don't know. Because, I mean, the adults in town all know about Christian, but the kids, I don't know. So Connor was having all this angsty stuff going on and Chelsea was having to deal with it and she was asking for advice from Sharon and then Billy inserted himself in there, which Chelsea was happy to have him do, and Adam didn't even mind. So all the adults in Connor's life are very concerned about his angst. And of course, he's going to find out that his baby sister that they were expecting passed away. And I'm wondering if Connor is going to be guilt stricken, if he is going to spiral out into more teen angst, into, you know, self harm or running away or just some kind of big angsty thing, because he might feel somehow like he's responsible for the baby dying because he didn't want a little sister. I mean, he kind of. He almost said some things like, why does this have to happen? I don't, you know, want any more. He just didn't want any more kids in his dad's life. And, you know, maybe he's going to even come out and say, I was thinking I wish that she would never be born. And then she died. I, and for a kid that age, he could definitely think thoughts like that, how kids that age blame themselves for their parents, divorce, just a lot of things. And Connor already is just feeling very broody and moody and dark. I mean, he is Adam's kid after all. Plus, right now, Adam Newman is mired in grief. He is going to turn dark, according to the latest official spoilers for YNR. And I am wondering if it's going to be down to Billy and Chelsea dealing with Connor if he spirals because Adam simply isn't up to it because Adam is also in a spiral. Will Billy Abbott open up to Connor? Will he talk to him about his own guilt over Delia Abbott's death? Because even though Billy blamed Adam for a lot of time, the bottom line is Billy's choice to leave a little girl alone in a car with a puppy was a bad parenting choice. Had Billy not made that bad choice, Adam wouldn't have hit her. He didn't know he hit her you know, until later. And so there's just a lot of blame and stuff, but Billy made a bad parenting decision that night that he has a lot of guilt about. So Billy actually is a good person to talk to Connor about this because Billy knows all about going dark when you're upset. He knows all about hating on people. He knows all about hating Adam Newman specifically, and he might actually be able to talk Connor down, you know, kind of like Billy talked Chelsea off a ledge. Maybe Billy is the right one to talk Connor off a metaphorical edge, an edge of angst. So right now it feels like that they have to address Connor's 
angst because they made such a big deal out of it before. Now that they've decided to do this twist and kill off Sally's baby, I feel like the writers would be remiss if they didn't circle back around to Connor and let him have some feelings about about this and about the pregnancy not working out and resulting in a live sibling that is going to be in his life. So we have three things that we see might happen and we think Connor is going to be acting out, maybe seeking Adam's attention if Adam is so distracted by his own grief and, you know, will things get so messy that then Billy Abbott has no choice but to step in? I don't know. But I see these three three different ways this could go. We're going to talk about it in just a second. If you haven't, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless spoilers, casting news, and more. And please click like on this video if you're enjoying it. All right. So, so three different ways we could see this going. Number one, um, Connor could just hate himself. He could just be so sad and just hate himself and blame himself that he runs away. That's kind of angsty, typical teen, preteen behavior. Uh, the second thing could happen, Connor could be just really angry that Adam is still focused on the baby, even though the baby has died. Maybe Connor is feeling like his dad was neglecting him because he was spending so much time with Sally because of the high-risk pregnancy, and then the baby's gone, and Adam still hasn't circled back around to him because Adam is mired in grief. That could be kind of interesting. And the third thing we're wondering about is whether Connor is lashing out at Chelsea, lashing out at Adam, you know, lashing out at Nick, just everybody lashing out at everybody and turns to Billy and Billy's the only one who can pull him back from the brink because Adam, I think, is going to need pulled back from the brink himself. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.